it's real But when I'm with you I feel A little closer to heaven And yes, you move me that much And I get from your touch A little closer to heaven Okay, so this question is from Mikey Hart and um, the, it's the question it's not really a question but it says um, insight about my spiritual path and gaining enlightenment thank you so much blessings and namaste blessings and namaste to you and um, okay uh, just making sure the um, camera's on right so insight about my spiritual path and gaining enlightenment I'm just waiting for my guides to give me a message right one three two one three two what do we have for you one three two Retreat and regroup. Okay. Knowing when to retreat and rest is essential. Sometimes we need to recharge ourselves before continuing on our path. This does not mean failure or defeat. It simply means going with the natural rhythms of our bodies, hearts and minds. So you are currently in a process of um, becoming uh, more aware, let's just say. Um, let's talk a little bit for a second about enlightenment so you can become enlightened moment to moment moment to moment you are becoming more and more enlightened and sometimes it means you are becoming there's more light coming into you which is expanding you more and enlightening you more and when we say light we mean light uh, love light, awareness light, wisdom light, God light, source light, connective light, light that takes you back to your true nature. This is what enlightens you when you become more filled with this light. This is to say when you have become enlightened, when that is all you are and therefore you can no longer sustain or no longer wish to sustain a physical body. And so there are degrees of enlightenment. So when you speak of enlightenment, do not be in a hurry to achieve enlightenment per se. Enjoy each stage of becoming more enlightened along the way. In other words, enjoy the process of experiencing the light of your true being. And you can experience the light of your true being right now. Okay? So, in this context, <laughs> you are being asked to go into yourself a little bit and have a good rest, have a good old rest, absorb, integrate and consolidate what you've already learned and not be trying so hard to reach an end goal. I hope that makes sense to you because that seems to be the key to your enlightenment. And remember, enlightenment also means sometimes that we just lighten up a little bit and remember that it's a process and it's an enjoyable process. Okay, um, this does not mean failure or defeat. It simply means going with the natural rhythms of our bodies, hearts and minds. Yes, body, heart, mind all aspects of the being okay must be nourished it's not purely about seeking after the needs of the expansion of the spirit we are here to imbue the body and the mind and the heart with the spirit the living spirit here on earth and to bring that spirit into all of our experience therefore when it is time to rest the body Please respect the body and rest and enjoy the resting of the body. Do you understand? I hope you understand this because they're really saying this in quite strong terms here. Your body needs nourishing, you need rest, <laughs> basically just to sum it up. And that's what's really going to help you the most because sometimes, let me just give you a, a musical example. There are times when I am in a really intense practice schedule on the piano and I'm practicing every day and I'm making sure I'm practicing for a couple of hours every day whenever I can even if it means you know I've been working all day and I still practice in the evening or I'm going to be working in the afternoon but I make sure I get a couple of hours in in the morning and there are days when I get five hours in there are days when I get two hours in there are days when I get half an hour in but I make sure I'm practicing every single day and then something will come along something will happen and there'll be a week 
or two that go by and I haven't sat down and practiced and then somehow when I go and practice it's better than it was the last time I practiced. Uh, it, it, it all kind of just flows, it makes sense, it seems easy and I'm playing things that I didn't know I could play and they want you to understand that even when you're not striving to evolve, even when you're not trying to become more enlightened, you are, because of your intention, you are on a trajectory and there is momentum to everything. And sometimes it, in other words, the input that you're giving yourself needs time to assimilate and to integrate into your being. And by doing this and by allowing the tides and the ebb and flow of what you are and what your guides are and what your connection is within the all, by allowing all of these things to integrate and do their job, do their work, you will find you will go farther, faster, if that is your aim. And yet, we also want you to acknowledge and understand that it's not about farther, faster, it's about enjoying the journey okay so retreat regroup come back into yourself when the time comes for direct action you will emerge stronger than before sometimes knowing when to retreat can be the wisest thing we will ever learn withdrawing at just the right time even for a few minutes can strengthen the mind body and resolve to continue and that what that reminds me of withdrawing for just a few minutes it reminds me of meditation the process of meditation and I haven't put this thing back on again the guides have no respect for this timer, okay? <laughs> the reason I'm using this timer is because I want everyone to have the equal amount of time, but unfortunately, you know, I forget the timer. So, okay, here, what do you have? Okay, so, I hope that's helpful to you. Meditation is really, really essential to you. And I do feel that if you are already in a meditation process, it's important for you to remember to take breaks from the meditation as well from time to time. And just to live life, experience things, bring that experience back into the times when you'll be back in, in uh, a phase of intense spiritual study. Right, why are you taking me away from these? Colour, okay. Let's give your life some more colour. <laughs> okay. So, hmm, nice, because the thing about colour is colour allows us to express the many, many different facets of the journey of spiritual unfoldment, okay? When we see that pure white light that's often the way that pure spirit uh, shows itself to us, it is a constant reminder of the ultimate that we are aiming to achieve. The oneness, going back into the light, into the original source, the pure light. But there are many, many, many colours along the spectrum, is what I'm being shown, okay? And we want you to embrace some of those colours. So I'm using this deck for you today. So I'm going to say past, present, future. And the richest colour for you to acknowledge on your journey at this time. Right, so past, what's brought you here? Be spontaneous and have fun. So you have actually been able to um, keep yourself fairly open. I'm often having to tell people to kind of lighten up and stay light and all of these things, but I'm being told that you had um, a period where you were very good at this, you were very aware of this. So, you know, just going back to that, and remembering that staying light is an aspect of enlightenment, I want you to remember in the past when you were able to, because I don't want you to see it as being frivolous. I want you to see it as being an important aspect of your journey. So it's okay to be light and to have fun and to absorb your information and your experience in that way. So that's what's brought you here. Where are you now? Inhale a breath of life. Breathe. <laughs> stop trying to make too many things happen. You know, stop trying to make the path happen. Just breathe and enjoy it. You're doing great. Experience and enjoy. And where are you going in the future? So what is the best thing that you need to do in the future? Learn to scan your body. Okay, so you're coming out of all of this 
brightness and colour so and then you suddenly go into this grey so what's happening is that as you become more sensitive it's becoming more important for you to be able to scan your energy and to clear your energy so you will as a result of all of this searching and wanting to grow wanting to evolve you will become more sensitive and then the next part of your journey the next part of your learning is going to be able is going to be learning how to um, how to know when the energy has changed around you and how to get rid of those cobwebs, how to clear all of that and get back into a nice high frequency. So that's a really nice key for you. Another clue on your path for um, uh, gaining enlightenment because gaining enlightenment, another aspect of it, is being able to get rid of the dark, clear away everything that shields or shrouds or covers or interrupts the light if you like so there's another one for you okay now the ultimate color that is being brought into your experience at this time for you to focus on let's say over the i'm hearing over the next six to twelve weeks okay so let's see this as a three month trajectory then for what you need to be looking at embracing enjoying over the next three months or so purify your body so your next stage in your enlightenment once you've had a rest and you've retreated and you've you know incorporated and integrate integrated some of these energies these new energies that you've been playing with which is wonderful and you've become really clear about how to clear your energy field um, which is going to be ongoing as well throughout this time we want you to focus on and this will help you with keeping your energy clear Focus on your body, focus on, you know, within any health constraints that you have, we're not doctors here, make sure that you're healthy, make sure that all of these things are good, but within that, be drinking more water and, and do anything that feels to you like a purification of the body, so letting go of gradually any habits that don't support your enlightenment, maybe experimenting with some yoga, inhaling the breath of life, going out into nature more, um, spending more time by water so that you can you know, be around those negative ions that will charge you and inspire you. Keeping your mind clear as well, I'm hearing. These things will help you to clear your mind. Sometimes if you're feeling foggy or confused, it's because your energy field needs to be cleared okay and sometimes we can clear our energy more quickly when we are um, purifying the body and this isn't a hard fast set of rules for anyone there is no dogma coming from spirit whatsoever um, because people need different things at different times to get them through the journey okay um, John Lennon said whatever gets you through the night you know within reason but I'm just saying there is no judgment. However, your question here is about how to, um, uh, how to gain enlightenment, how to keep moving towards enlightenment. So in that respect, purification of the body is fundamental to that, is very important to that. But again, be sensible and keep things in balance, okay? So rest meditate, recuperate, integrate when you need to, absorb rather than be pushing, keep your energy light, keep that sense of fun and spontaneity, breathe and go out among nature and the trees and the water and be a part of all of that, learn to keep your energy field clear so that you can hear the true guidance and the teachings coming from spirit and when all else fails purify your body to keep getting you back into that higher frequency much more rapidly. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you, I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much, and I get from your touch a little closer to heaven.